Hello Stampers, I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. Today for the Creative Inking Blog Hop, we are concentrating on birthdays. And of course, everybody needs birthday cards. I am going to be using the Pretty Perennial stamp set today. This is the Million Dollar Achiever stamp set by one of my best friends, Dina Rico. I'm excited to be using this set because I love the watercolor images in the flowers. But we're not going to be doing a lot with the stamp set. We're more going to focus on the Butterfly Bijou paper. This is a promotion that is going until May 3rd or while supplies last. This beautiful, beautiful paper is available to purchase along with the um, Brilliant Wings dies, a great set of dies, and then we have the Butterfly Brilliance stamp set, along with some wood grain specialty paper. So you check that out on my website. When we um, get done stamping, I'll show you this flyer. You can get all the details on that. Let's flip the camera around and I'll show you what I made. I've got a fun fold for you today, and you guys know those are like my favorite, right? Let's start stamping. Okay, let's get a better look at this pretty perennials. Holy cow, this is like right up my alley. It's got kind of the images that I really love. They look a little watercolorish, realistic, lots of detail in the solid images and just some really fun images. And then one of my favorite things is this happy word because we don't get enough happy and I think we need to have more happy. Also, you can bundle this with the Perennial Petals dies, and you get a whole bunch of dies in here. There's 23 different dies in here. You can do a lot of really pretty things with those. Now, I said we're going to be using the Butterfly Bijou paper. We're also going to be using one small die from the Brilliant Wings dies, and then I'm bringing this label in from the Stitch So Sweetly, one of my favorite labels to use. Let's get all our cardstock layers in here. Now remember, if you head over to my blog, this is my blog address, you're going to find all the dimensions, some still photos, a complete shopping list, which means you can see what color ink did she use and what, what was the name of that paper. There's a whole shopping list for you to check out. Just to make things whoops, a little bit easier, I'm going to try to find one of these that's clean. There we go. This is our paper piercing mat. I just take some printer weight paper and wrap it around there, tape it on. This is what I like to use for my surface. Okay, first up, we've got So Saffron. This is a coordinating color with the Butterfly Bijou paper, so it's easy to pick when you're using designer paper by Stampin' Up. We've got four and a quarter by eight and a half. We're going to do a little scoring on that. We've also got this Calypso Coral is three by eight. We're going to do a little scoring on that. We'll talk about these other layers when we get ready for them. I'm going to bring my paper trimmer in here. Our So Saffron layer is going to be scored at four and a quarter. Is that right? That doesn't seem right. Five and a half, sorry. I'm like, no, that isn't right. Five and a half, we're gonna score that at. Then we're gonna take this one and we're gonna score it in half, so at four inches. And this was eight inches long. All right, let's get a bone folder out here. We are going to burnish these edges really good. Always like a good folded edge. And here comes all of our other layers. So we have four by five and a quarter of this beautiful butterfly bijou paper. We've also got a scrap of So Saffron. We've got two more pieces of the butterfly. Do you love that rainbow? We're going to be using this side, but the rainbow butterflies are really pretty. These two pieces are both two and three quarters by four. You need two of them. Then we have this layer and a basic white layer, and both of these are two and three quarters by three and three quarters. Then you're gonna need a scrap of the designer series paper, and I also had this little strip 
that was left after I was cutting up all these pieces and I thought, oh, we're going to use this too. So um, this is half inch by oh, three and three quarters. Okay, let's start by stamping first. So I'm going to take this layer. I'm going to bring in the stamps that I plan to use. I've got Memento Black Ink here. And I love, love, love that happy. So we're going to stamp that on our scrap. that inked up good. hope my ink pen has enough ink in it and it looks a little weak. Hang tight. I'm going to juice it up a little bit. Make sure that when you're ordering ink pads that you're also getting the ink refill with them. It's very disappointing if you don't have this and you need it. And I just always recommend, if you're gonna buy an ink pad color, get the re-inker with it. Okay, let's try this again. We're gonna head over to the other side here. And we're gonna stamp that happy. Okay, now what we're gonna do here, whoops. Oops, I just got black ink on my fingers. That's just a typical stamping day with Kelly. <laughs> I get a little smarter most of the time about cleaning it off so I don't wreck my projects. Now we're going to take our um, Stitch So Sweetly die and we're going to run this through the die cutting machine. Hang tight. Oh, before I go, I'm going to take our little designer series paper scrap. Here it is this little scrap and I'm going to use this butterfly die on there and I'll be right back. Here we go. Okay, I think we're, we're ready for a little assembly. You're going to take your card base and grab your four by five and a quarter inch designer series paper layer here. We're going to add that right here. I love the yellow and the orange together. I just think it's really springy and happy. Then we are going to take this layer. Now you can use whichever side you want. I'm gonna use the watercolor looking side. We're gonna add that right to this panel. And then inside, I'm gonna do another panel. And when we get done making this card, I'm gonna show you another card with different colors and it's the card where I got my inspiration. Oops, let me get a little bit more glue under here that I didn't get any glue on the corners here and they're kind of sticking up a little bit. There we go. Okay, so, so far, this is our card. Now, we're gonna take this So Saffron piece that we folded in half, right? And we're going to add this designer series paper. This is Calypso Coral. I think I said so saffron, sorry. Calypso Coral and our patterned paper. Then we're going to take this piece of white that's the same size as this one. This is three and three quarters by two and three quarters. We're going to take this little half inch strip that most of us would have thrown away. Well, maybe not. <laughs> we are kind of paper hoarders, right? And I'm going to put this right on my white layer. This is going to be my layer for the inside that I'm going to write my message on. And I think what I wanted to do there was stamp one of the little flowers from the Pretty Perennials. And I think I'll do that right there. Oh my gosh, I just love that. I think it's so, so pretty. The images are just really nice. Then I'm going to use black. I'm going to stamp those little dots right in there. Just kind of cute. I just wanted a little decoration for that inside piece. And now we're going to... Oh, I put the lid back on my glue. We're going to put this in here. This goes on the inside. Now, this card opens this way. So you want to make sure that you're putting this in the right place. Oh, look at that. I didn't trim that off. That's no good. That'll make me just crazy. <laughs> I 
are you guys picky like that? Like sometimes, sometimes I'm like, oh, that'll be fine. Other times it's like, oh, uh-uh, <laughs> that isn't happening. Okay, now with this layer, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close it. I'm gonna add my glue to the back and I'm gonna leave this open. I'm gonna just center this right on my designer paper layer. You don't need to worry about anything else right at the moment. You're just gonna center this, make sure it's in the center. Now we're gonna take this and put it on here. I think I'm gonna pop that up with some dimensionals. So let me get out my little basket. Let's see if I can find, there's some dimensionals. We're gonna put some dimensionals on the back of this layer. This is a big layer, so if you want to, you know, put a few dimensionals on it. Dimensionals are inexpensive. All right, get that one off. There we go. Here we go. Aww. We're going to spruce this up a little bit. Where'd our butterfly go? Right here. And I think what I'm going to do for my butterfly is I'm going to just cut a sliver off of these ends off the edges just like that and I'm gonna put that right on the body of my little butterfly that I die cut from designer paper oh my good lord isn't that cute how about right here look at how cute that is okay ready boom super simple and quick the cool thing about this card is of course the fun fold right and how simple it was. Like it is just the easiest little fun fold. Now I want some dement or some embellishments. And I'm thinking I'm gonna just go to my trusty old rhinestones because they never ever fail me. I love rhinestones. They just put that tiny bit of bling on your projects that make them look really pretty, right? Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Here is the other card that inspired me. Oh, I know, wait, I forgot. See that little happy birthday there? We need one of those. So I'm just gonna grab a little white scrap here. Don't forget your birthday. I've got it here and I just completely forgot about it. I'm gonna do that. Perfect. This is an easy way to get your sentiments on. And I'm just going to take my paper snips and cut out the rectangle just like that. And now I'm going to grab my dimensionals. These are my minis, my mini dimensionals. I have little lines on them because it helps you know when you get the backing off. Sometimes you got to touch it. You don't know if you really pulled that off. But if you put some black stripes on it, you do know that you pulled it off. And I think what I'm going to do with this, mm, I think I'm going to put it right, well, let me see. I'm going to move my butterfly because I forgot about that, right? There we go. I'm going to put my butterfly, oops, hang on. Now I got it. My dimensional got a little wonky there. There we go. Okay, now I'm going <laughs> to, don't let it stick where it shouldn't be. I'm going to stick this right in here. There we go. Just like Jackie Blurch did. Jackie is a member of my team, and every month we do a swap, and it's usually some type of theme. This time it was spring cards, and you could do anything you wanted, spring or Easter. This was Jackie's card, and she used that Butterfly Bijou paper also with the um, Brilliant Wings dies and the Perennial pretty perennial stamp set. Isn't this just pretty? Look at how nice that is. I love how the designer paper color coordinates. Now remember, this paper is part of a promotion that's going on until May 3rd. And I said I'd bring in, here's the flyer. Here comes a flyer. It's good till May 3rd. The stamp set and the dies are going to continue to be available in our new catalog that comes out in May. May 4th to be exact. So the butterfly stamps and the dies will continue to be available, but this paper is only 
for this promotion until May 3rd, as well as the Natural Touch Specialty Designer Series paper. This is really cool paper. You get two sheets of 12 by 12, just like our other specialty papers, for $5. Now I also have an online class going on right now with the Butterfly Bouquet Stamp Set. Um, there are three different ways to get the online class. You can get it free when you choose option number one or fill out the form to order all the products that are included with the online class. You can also do option number two is $45 and it includes um, some ribbon and some gems, nine different cards, pre-cut card stock, all the goodies. You're going to find all that on my blog right here. You're going to look for the online classes and click that link. This is so, so pretty. I've been having an absolute blast with it. Love these butterfly images too, and I didn't even use those today. There's so many different possibilities. So a big thank you to Jackie for um, sharing this card with me. I absolutely love your layout. Here's just another variation. I use different label dies here. I use the stitch so sweetly. Uh, Jackie used the tasteful label dies, and I would have used those except I am missing the smaller one here that the Happy is stamped on, just because it's with my helper right now. We are getting ready to um, send out online classes, so she's got it. All right, you guys, the new catalog is coming out in May. I am currently compiling my mailing list for the new annual catalog. And when I say the new catalog, it's the big kahuna catalog, huge. If you do not have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to earn your business. I'd be happy to send you one of those catalogs. Get in touch with me. You can email me at this email address right here. Let me know what that you'd like a new catalog and that, and send me your address so that I know where to send it to. And don't worry, if you have placed $50 in orders with me in the last six months, you will be getting a new catalog. You'll be on my mailing list. I can't hardly wait. Now, if you want to join my team, we're going to be able to pre-order from this new catalog, I believe on like April 1st or so. So that's kind of exciting. One of the perks of being a discount shopper with Stampin' Up! is you get to order early. Really fun, right? Yay. Okay, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me for this video. You're going to find all kinds of other birthday ideas when you click right up here in the corner. Head over to my blog, look for the um, blog hop list, and you can hop along, see what everybody else made. Don't forget to click down here to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You don't want to miss anything I have coming out. we got lots of goodies coming your way. Have yourselves a wonderful night. Bye-bye.